Good morning, everyone. So today we have a huge change of scenery compared to the last videos on the coast in Oaxaca. We're at a place in the mountains called San Jose del Pacifico, which is in between the city of Oaxaca and uh, yeah, like Cuatulco where we were. If we knew about this place before, we would have just um, come here on the way down to Huatulco instead of passing it. Cause yeah, now we've kind of like backtracked a bit and it's only about three hours away from the coast where, where we were in Huatulco. And we're absolutely loving this place already, like completely surrounded by the nature. So we're staying in this little cabin here. The place is called Puesta del Sol and it's uh, $40. But look at the view that we get from our cabin. Incredible views out here. So we have this tree blocking, but there's like a huge mountain back there and there's loads of other cabins. So I think this one here has a better view, some cabins over there as well. But yeah, look how nice this looks. Loads of nice plants and trees. I wonder what berries these are. And inside is the tour of our cabin. I think this is the first cabin we've ever stayed in, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. In the woods. In the woods. Yeah. Yes, they got a big, nice bathroom, much needed hot water because it's really cold here. And yeah, just a really nice uh, place to stay. Check it out, all wooden. And we have a fireplace as well, which we used last night. Probably use it again in this video. And it's pretty cool because you can just like lie in bed and look out to this. You don't even need to go outside. And this place also includes breakfast. So yeah, pretty awesome deal, right? $40. For the both of us and breakfast included which is where we're gonna head to now a bit of a breakfast buffet we're late so there's not as much uh, bread anymore but probably have some toast also got some fruit bowls and like tea and coffee stuff like that enjoy the breakfast mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good it's good yeah a lot of food and fruit now we need to take a nap a nap now we need a walk so you can probably see that we're in like hoodies so at night it got to around like two to three degrees celsius that is but i think right now it's around 17 or 18 so probably when we walk around now we can take our hoodies off i think so anyway We're going to check out the main town. I think it's a very small town. We're just staying about eight, 10 minute walk away. So yeah, very close. And this place is at an altitude of around 2,400, 2,500 meters. That's around 8,000 feet high. So definitely feel it when you're walking, get tired like really quickly. So yeah, going to have to adapt. Yeah, so I think as we explore today, we're just gonna get awesome views like this all around. The drive here was nuts, wasn't it? Yeah, it felt like we were in a washing machine. <laughs> yeah, I was almost gonna throw up and yeah, I don't I don't even have motion sickness, but... Yeah, same for me, I never have. And then it was like very bad for three hours. Yeah. We were not feeling well. Yeah, cause we got in like a van as well. So the guy could go really fast and he was just like going through windy roads, like nonstop. Pretty much U-turns, right? Mm -hmm. Constant U-turns, but going super fast. And uh, yeah, it was just too much. It was like three hours pretty much of just constant swinging around. Horrible. All right, bienvenidos San Jose del Pacifico. 
yeah this place they also have these like little tuk-tuks like this one check that out southeast asia <laughs> So this place is completely different to anywhere that we've been in Mexico. Almost doesn't feel like Mexico. Still nice and colorful though, but a lot of the places are like wooden cabins. And then this is like the main highway road. So yeah, you got some like nice little restaurants, cafes. Got some stuff cooking over here as well. So I haven't told you yet what this town is famous for. So magic mushrooms are actually legal here. So they're illegal in Mexico, but this place, I don't think has any law enforcement. It's just a tiny town. So they have their own laws, their own, own rules and magic mushrooms have always been legal here. So yeah, it's always been famous cause like backpackers come here to, I guess, try out the magic mushrooms and just enjoy the nature, go on hikes, stuff like that. <laughs> And this place is known as the magic mushroom capital of Mexico. And there's other stuff to do now. Apparently in the past, that's the only thing you could really do. But now there's like hiking, which I think we're going to do now. Other kind of indigenous kind of uh, ceremonies, right? There's one called te Temascal. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think we're going to try that one out. <laughs> Nothing to do with mushrooms or anything, but it's like some sort of sauna. I don't know. We'll find out in, in this video because we're going to try and do it. So just to give you an idea of how small this place is, the main town is pretty much just this area here. That's it. Barely anything. You can walk down the road in like two minutes or something. But then on the outskirts, there's still yeah, these little houses spread it around. This one looks nice. But yeah, that is the main part. I wonder how many people live here. It must just be... Yeah, less than a thousand, I guess. It looks like it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to read up about it. Check out this trippy artwork. <laughs> the whole building actually. Oh, it's a cafe. Yeah. That's a cool cafe right there. So we're trying to find a trail now that we found on this website. We just don't know where the entrance is exactly. Somewhere along this road. Really is cool though, seeing all these little houses out here. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so
So we found the trail, we asked one of the locals nearby. So you just got to enter a kind of guest house here called La Cumbre and then the, the trail continues on behind it. So yeah, that was just behind us down there. And that's also a popular place that people stay at because it's a kind of like hostel vibe, I think, and it has an incredible view. The only problem is I think <laughs> I think this trail is going to be pretty much vertical all the way up. We're basically going up the hill or the mountain that's uh, behind the town. And yeah, from the drone shots, it looked pretty steep. So we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, so we think the only reason there's a hiking trail here is because it's where the water pipes come down from the mountains. So on the whole trail, you basically have the water pipes going all the way down. And here we have this big sort of container. I'm not even sure what it is, but if you're here closely, you can hear water. And it seems like there's pipes going down that way and then the way we came from. It's getting greener up here though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's already beautiful. The yeah. trees are so high. Yeah, super high the trees, but yeah, way greener here at the top. Pretty cool though, isn't it? Because like three hours from Huatulco, which is the coast, scorching yeah, hot, and then you get a place like this. Yeah, I don't think we've seen this kind of scenery here in Mexico. No, like the woods, yeah, forest. Like the woods, like proper forest. And yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, here you got a lot of pine trees. Smells really good. Mm like a strong pine smell everywhere we go. Yeah, the deeper we get into like the forest, the more awesome it gets. This part is really cool now. Got some plants here that look more like uh, tropical plants, I guess. This one with the red bits, all sorts of different flowers and stuff though. All looks amazing. It kind of feels like we're more in like a national park in California or something like that. Nord Northern California than, than Mexico. Really doesn't feel like we're in Mexico. What have you got there in your hand? Uh, pine cone, is that how you call it? Yeah, pine cone. There's loads of them around here, right? Yeah, some big ones and some small ones like this. <laughs> back on the highway road now we're gonna have to do that temascal ceremony i think they do it with like herbs and stuff so it's supposed to be really good for your health so the place we're doing it is called los cuatro elementos and it's gonna be 200 pesos per person it's down here i think i guess this area here in the jungle <laughs> Check it out, even more mushrooms. Everything's mushrooms here. <laughs> I think here he's um, heating up the, the herbs. You can see some leaves in there. <laughs> Super nice and warm. And then these are the, like, the little ovens or whatever you call them. So they're all different sizes. I think this is for like a bigger group. 
Got this cool one here. Kind of dark inside though. Whoa, check that out though. So you just sit around it, I think. And then this one that's like a teepee. I think this is just for two people. Ready to get cooked? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. What up, everyone? Thank, Thank you. you. Acá? Sí. Okay. All right. Now, ahora, cuidado one. con la piedra que está del lado izquierdo porque está caliente. Van a entrar hacia la derecha y se sientan al fondo. Okay. okay. Chicos, bienvenidos al Temazcal. Gracias. Vamos a empezar con estas piedras para hacer ambiente. Uh -huh. Y creo que tú vas a ser el encargado. Uh -huh. Lo único que tienes que hacer es mojar las hierbas aquí. Esta es lavanda y este es el buffet que les digo, el té que, que preparo. Lavanda. Ahorita la idea es que se haga vapor, pero también que vayas comprendiendo dónde estás y que estás respirando. Uh -huh. Ok. Pues al principio se siente así como... Pero después te vas a ir adaptando. A ver, hazlo. Ahorita lo vuelves a hacer. Sí, al principio lo tienes que hacer seguido. Right, y que no sea un calor, que esto es un calor seco. Okay. Okay. Es, el chiste es que sea un calor húmedo. Y esa piedra se va enfriando, digamos. Nada, tengo. Let me see. I can't see you at all, Carol. No. I can't even see you with my eyes. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for the GoPro. <laughs> We're in the complete darkness now. Like I said, we can't even see with our eyes, but apparently I've just got to keep getting these herbs that I can't even see. It's already hot, right? Yeah, it is. Whoa, those rocks. Intense. Oh my God. Gracias. Gracias. Into the darkness. Muy yeah. pues muy bien. Sí. Yeah, ya muy te bien. lo decides. Quiero más, le pongo más, entonces en lugar de dos cuentas uno. Quiero okay. más. Ok. Entonces va a cambiar el calor un poco, es hora de sudar. Mm -hmm. sí. Pero ustedes deciden, quiero más, le pongo más. Mm -hmm. Está fuerte, le paro tantito. This is hardcore. Okay, okay gracias. gracias. Okay, ahora pasas de este lado a la derecha está la regadera. Okay. Cuando abre el agua, te tallas muy bien la cara, los brazos, tus manos son importantes así, eso, así todo el cuerpo. Y luego la hojita se cae como hoja seca, no te preocupes. I've never sweated so much <laughs> in my entire life. You, can t you take out toxins that you don't have idea, eh? Yeah. This is like herbs as well, right? Yeah, the, the tea that is inside. <laughs> now you see better, breathe better, hear better. Yeah, okay. If yeah. you want to have a muscle pain, looking for God. Hey, Almost really? Gone. You're breathing really uh -huh. good. And you see the colors different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm I'm in a cloud or something. So that was an incredible experience. Much better than what I was expecting. It ended up being how long? 45 minutes inside. Yeah. 
But I think it went quick. Yeah, it was uh, very quick. It's... I was expecting to feel like the time wasn't passing by. But yeah, like that... going slow. Yeah, but when we were there, it was quick, I think. <laughs> yeah, because normally when I've done uh, proper saunas in the past, it feels like time's going slow and I'm like count counting down the time. But yeah, this one went really quick. And I think he said you could spend an hour in there and uh, we're even thinking about doing it again because it was amazing. It was like a natural high. Yeah, I think the, the best moment when, was when we left the sauna and we were feeling very, uh, I don't know. I different. was light. Yeah, very light. Yeah, my body. I, I was walking like this. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can see in the, in the video because I was filming. I was like, oh, where do I go? It was like a bit weird, but at the same time it was very, 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 very relaxing. Like yeah a different experience even now i'm like super relaxed mm -hmm. and it was cool you could like uh control the temperature so you have the herbs and you put in it on the rocks for the vapor mm -hmm. the more you put it on uh, the more vapor there is the harder it gets but if it gets too hot you just don't put it on the rocks for a while right mm -hmm. then it cools down pretty quickly but yeah. and yeah. The, the guy was also asking us if we were okay i think he, yeah. he went there inside and uh, checked on us. Yeah, like every gave, 10 minutes. Yeah, also gave us some water at some point. So it was it was not like a bad experience. Yeah. Overall, it was, it was great. And we, I think we're going to do it again. Yeah, I think so too. So I think now we're just going to rest a bit and then go to eat. So we found a great spot right in the center of town to eat. A bit noisy, a lot of construction going on, but yeah, an incredible view. So it's called Rayito de Sol, and check this out for a view. Got an awesome view of the hills all the way around pretty much. So that's where we climbed up, behind those buildings there to the top, to the other side actually. Yeah, we should have gone to that place over there. It's called Mirador, but there was no sign or anything, so we couldn't get there. Yeah, we didn't oh, know how wow. to get there. So it's actually written here in white letters, Mirador, which means viewpoint. So I guess we'd have to go up and then cut right. I don't know, but we didn't see any trail. Oh, well, Do you know what you're going to eat? Mm, probably quesadillas. Quesadilla? How much is that? Um, I don't know, maybe the food of Calabasa, 70 pesos for two pieces. Okay, so I ended up getting the same as Carol, which is like a pumpkin or squash flour. Two really big quesadilla pieces though, so yeah, pretty good deal. That's less than four dollars each, I think, yeah, mm -hmm. 70? 70, yeah. How's that? Is it spicy today? Or? I haven't tried it yet. All right. <laughs> Carol always goes for it, I avoid it. Yeah, this one is a nice amount of spice. The sauce, it's not like extremely spicy, so yeah, just a nice kick. Tasty quesadilla though. And check it out now, the, the hill's getting covered in clouds. If we were at the top now, we'd just be in one big cloud. I watched some videos of this place and it seems like even this town area sometimes is completely covered in clouds. A lot of the videos actually, it was like completely cloudy but it's been super sunny and open for us for the most part so far. So we've just been resting in our cabin for a little bit. The guy just brought some wood. They actually bring it down for you and then you choose a time and the guy will come at night and put the, the fire on. So yeah, we've been asking them to put it on at 9 p.m. 
And I thought I'd film here just to show you how it is when it's in the clouds. So right now we're completely covered. It's pretty cool though, it adds a different kind of vibe here. But yeah, we're just in one big cloud. So it seems like we have a visitor. <laughs> he, he's tired of the, the cold weather. Ah, oh, he's trying to come in. No, you can't. This is a no pets allowed place. Poor guy, he has to stay out in like zero degrees weather. Yeah. He's probably coming because check this out. They just came and got the the fire running. Looks really cool. And they also give us some extra wood so yeah as it's going down we can keep it burning during the majority of the night. So we're gonna spend the rest of the night in front of the fireplace. Pretty much the only place that's warm, right? Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be the last video here from the state of Oaxaca. So we've spent the last month here and I think it's become our favorite state of them all. Mm -hmm, yeah, it has become, and for many reasons, if you watched our last videos, you'll know why. And yeah, we're, gonna, we're going to a new state called Chiapas. Yeah, in two days time we'll head to Chiapas and then we should be spending a few weeks there. But this place is definitely our favorite, I think. A lot of people have told us beforehand that this was their favorite as well. And we can see why now. The, the coast was awesome. We loved uh, Oaxaca City. And also this place, which is a kind of unusual place. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not, uh, I don't think it's a touristy place in Mexico. At least not many people know about about the San Jose, but uh, it was a good surprise for us. Yeah, it's like some indigenous hippie town in the middle of the mountains in the middle of nowhere. So stay tuned if you'd like to see more videos from a different state. We'll see how Chiapas compares to Oaxaca. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.